Hello and welcome to the first layout update of this summer. It's the third extension of the layout. The first of course being the middle part around here, then the harbor back there and now we are going narrow gauge. We will split the narrow gauge extension into two parts. The first one is the left half which we will be covering this summer and the second half which will be over here we will be doing next summer. This is the first video I do when uh, I do speaking in English without a script so please ignore some uh, minor mistakes I'm gonna do. So let's start off with the very small engine I bought for the narrow gauge line which is of course Scaloi and he is a very beautiful model. I may be doing a review of him later on this summer, but now let's focus on the layout. I already laid down the track here. Um, this is a uh, Rocco HOE, so 009 basically in Europe track. Uh, all of this is flex track, and these are the switches I bought. I have three switches, and I had a a little bit not an, I had not enough track to to come up here but um, we will of course uh, do this part and everything that goes up here in the next summer and I think this small part here already this summer because if not the switch will be rather useless. So let's start off down here and I will tell you a bit on how I how I want this layout to end up, what I want to have on it. And yeah, let's start down here where we will have a small station and crossover point between the standard gauge line and the narrow gauge line. I'm still not sure if I want to have a platform like in Crovens Gate, um, but some kind of station will be there. Then we have a small incline going up into a small valley. This will be all um, made with plaster. Um, I will be starting this next week as I'm on holiday this week. Or, uh, when the video comes out, we, I already was on holiday and I probably started doing all the plaster work. So that's the next part after I of course finished laying the track down. But yeah, now we go up this small valley here. Um, it's very tight, sadly, because I don't have much more space available, but Scaloi can make it round all of these corners. Then back here we have the switch. Next summer the track will continue to climb up the hill and uh, somewhere over here we will have another station, the station in the mountains, and here we will be having a slate quarry with a track splitting up around here and going over there. But as I already said, this will be uh, made next summer. When we use the switch here, we'll be going a little bit up the hill and then we'll be coming into the main area of this summer's update, which will be the sheds from the little engines. So here we have a normal siding. I'm not sure if I will put a shed over, um, over this track here. I might just end up using it as a regular siding for trucks, but this will definitely be an engine shed with of course two bays here, uh, one for Scaloi of course and whoever I decide to buy next. So here around here we will be having uh, mountains, so we'll be having this um, a bit closed so you can see the station from the sheds, so it gives the illusion that the sheds are way higher up in the mountains and this track just goes down the mountains to a normal level where the standard gauge crosses over it. Yeah, this is the idea for the layout this summer. As I already said, the track is laid down. Um, it will be properly wired, not, not like this. That's just from my uh, regular Rocco uh, normal uh, gauge controller, which I, I don't use because I just have two engines and they don't run perfectly smooth. And as I'm using Merklin after all, I'm not using this very often. So I decided to just use it for the narrow gauge part um, as long as I don't have any other controllers for it. But of course it will be properly wired 
the virus would be going down here and I don't know somewhere along somewhere along the the edge of the table to my main controls. So that's the next part, and then of course landscaping, um, making the mountains, then using uh, grass and everything to make it all look very smooth and continue working. I have no idea what, why I just said that. Uh, I just run out of ideas what I can say. So yeah, for the last part of the update, I want to show you guys a bit of uh, running footage. This is Scaloi, if you see. Ah, good. I haven't contacted the wires properly. Let's see. Yes. There he goes. Just have to use the switch and he should go. Perfect. And he goes into the shed. Yeah, I will show you a bit more uh, running footage later on, but that's it for me. And yeah, I hope you stay uh, interested in building this layout and uh, videos will be coming up regularly whenever I finished a certain part of the layout or a certain building process like plastering everything. So that's it for me. Enjoy the running footage and bye bye.